Amazon has changed the world of retail as much as anybody else in the history of mankind. We want to be Earth's most customer-centric company. So we're trying to build a completely new standard, raise the bar worldwide on what it means to be focused on customers and obsessed over customers. There are thousands of salesmen at work each day, most of them honest, conscientious, and offering reliable goods. The others, the high-pressure salesmen, are slick, persistent, and tricky. In the context of a merchant like Amazon.com, one of the things that that means is that the balance of power shifts away from the merchant and toward the customer. Five o'clock. They facilitated, they amplified, they accelerated this shift away from direct employment to these, what, what some people call like the gig economy. All right, here we go. We are currently at the location. We're just going to go ahead and scan the package, give it to the homeowners. One more happy customer. There's no contract. There's no workman's compensation. The other thing that Amazon does is it rigorously measures the performance with technology, with algorithms of every employee. And the people who aren't picking products off the shelf fast enough or packing them into boxes quick, quickly enough, they're not going to last very long. People that work there are faceless. You know, they, they just go about, they pretty much are like robots. They do the job and they get treated like absolute rubbish. When you understand Amazon not as a bookseller that's ventured into other spaces, but as really the purest form of capitalism, of consumer capitalism we've seen, you know, as really just an aggressive monopolist looking to establish these platform monopolies and move on, then all of a sudden everything from the drones to Amazon Mechanical Turks starts to make sense. Jeff Bezos' own career started on Wall Street. This is where he had his break as a stock analyst. Ultimately, he understands the mentality uh, of uh, financial investors, and he has been very reassuring to them so far. He knows how to grow. He knows that the only way to pay back the capital, the clock that's on the capital, is to grow faster than the rate at which we're borrowing money. We're seeing wealth extraction. You know, they've learned how to extract the wealth of a marketplace and then move on. You can't just bankrupt everybody and expect to keep going. Five, four, command start. One, zero. And lift off. When things are growing this quickly, and when there's so much innovation to be done and so much customer experience to be built, it doesn't make sense not to be investing in your business. And that way investors sort of get to decide, you know, do they want to be investing in a company that has that strategy or not? And then they get to self-select. And that's how, you know, free market economies are supposed to work.